Fair enough, John. We'll get into game one. And of course, before we even start the game, let's have a look at the, uh, the loop at betting odds. Seems as though GXR are going to be the, I'd say, heavy favorites. I mean, it's 1.4 to 2.81 right now. So it's not, it's not quite as heavy as it was maybe before we got this draft started. But it does still heavily favor the side of GXR going into this game one. Do you think you agree with those odds, John, from Lupe? Yeah, I, I'd stick with those. I think GXR is just a lot scarier for team. And their recent results. On top of that, once you have the Scotty on the TB, you're not really going to need the Enfeeble. But if you wanted to literally make it so he's morphing nothing, then I suppose why not, right? Like you just make it literally so he can't great gain strength with Enfeeble plus the rest. It, it could be quite busted. But for now, Polison, he's going to go for the standard Brain Sap build. I paid, I've played a lot of Banger. And I've got to tell you, the hero doesn't feel good right now. So I'm very <laughs> curious to see what Polison does with it. Yeah, it's uh, going to be an interesting time. He, I mean, he does have In Your Dream in the lane. Uh, we'll have to see what In Your Dream does. Level he's holding off, whether or not he wants a Metamorphosis or Reflection. Does go for the meta first. They're up against Red in Ohio on the Axe Hoodwink lane. This is going to be a bit of an annoying lane, especially for Polison. He's just going to get constantly poked away by that Battle Hunger. He can kind of heal back with a Brain Sap, but he gets damaged more than he takes, uh, than he gets right now. So it's going to be a slow process in healing up that way in terms of harassment. And Ohio is doing a fairly good job just zoning him out. He's got decent range. He's got good damage with the Acorn shot. A little bit more spammable for Ohio as well compared to Paulson. Brain Sap's 120 mana for 75 damage. It's just not amazing value. Compare that to Acorn shot. 75 mana for a bonus 50 damage on top of your attack. So it's pretty darn good in terms of mana value there. That's a fair call, John. You see Polison already going for that uh, that small camp pull, and he's going to get it. We'll have a look at the other lanes while we have a chance as well. Of course, mid lane, you've got Hung Hung there up against Alacrity, so the mid wind ranger into the mid puck. It does feel like this is going to probably favor the puck in this matchup, but at least for now, Hung Hung is going to find himself ahead in terms of CS. Do you, do you agree with that sentiment, John? Do you think the Puck should have the advantage, or does, does Hung have it on the Wind Ranger? I think there's a couple of things going here for the Wind Ranger that you can sort of abuse. It's mainly down to Wind Run. Um, if you can land Harassment and Power Shot, that's great as well, but you have to really use Wind Run to its max potential. Dodge out the right-click trades, uh, try to avoid getting hit by the Orb. If you can kind of do it that way, the Wind Ranger can hold its own. And for Alacrity, lagging behind like this is not too bad. It's still the first couple of waves so you're really not missing out on too much where it really shines that baby's gonna lose his courier this time around not too big of a deal just a few wards off for the wyvern on there red looks like he wants to go for the dive onto polison and he might just be able to get it as the call and bushwhack does both come out at the same time but now alacrity another nice rotation polison gets the brain sap off but is gonna die still joe cam now will come in and if they can get the kill on the axe it's gonna still feel like quite a nice trade as they will be able to pick it up on the puck you lost your bane but you you got that big red axe it won't bother you too much however in the meantime, Portgas, he's been pushing in that mid-tier 1 tower. Oh, Ace, no. He waveforms away at the right time, but Polison, he has the Fiend's Grip. He's going to go after Portgas, and he's found it. But he does have the Strength Morph going, but he has lost all his strength now and could still be in danger. Bushwhack is there. Cold Embrace the boot. They'll get Polison down with the power shot. Can they keep going? Sharpshooter does connect with the callout. Red, he'll give the kill over to Ace. So it does all turn around as now Joe Cam. He'll be chased down by Hung Hung. They'll try and find him. However, oh, Joe Cam, that's a little Ooh. bit sneaky. The arrows do fly in the shackles. It does land. They got vision just for a split second. Confident. Knowing the, with the blades up, they know what they've got to watch for and they can maybe prioritize someone else and jump here. Oh, they see red. Red is going to get Fiend's Grip. There is going to be a Bushwhack to help him out, but they've already got the Silence there as well, and they've got the damage. Ooh. Nice Winter's Curse, though. They'll at least get Joe Cam, and now a double Shackles out. But have they got the Puck? Yeah, they do, Alacrity. He does go down as Mizu. He does have an A on disc, but it's not going to help so much. As Polison, he tries to run, but here comes in your dream. Ooh. He wants to go for the fight. He's found that baby, and now poor Gas Ace is just gone. Hung needs to run. He's going to try. So the Shackles Ooh. does land. That's the one big problem, though. In fact, they even found Ohio. Oh. Mizu got him. And as soon as In Your Dream shows up, everyone just tries to scatter. But only one gets out. 
Yeah. The the insane thing for GXR is when they play four four versus five, that's them playing on even network. Like all this lead on GXR's end is basically just in your dream. It's gonna be uh, very easy pickings. However, 496, they're gonna try and rush the Roshan. Scan is out. Can they make it in time to contest? They'll bring in one. Who's it gonna be? It's gonna be in your dream. He's running right into this. There's your reflection out, but the Aegis is already taken. They'll still go for the fight though, Red. He's already been lost as poor Gasty Ace has lost half his HP. He's gonna try and run. Just strength morph up and try to find a way out of this team fight. But in your dream, no. He'll go off the T1 top tower as Joe Cam. He'll continue the chase. Ace has got to be careful. Reflection is still up again. Alacrity gets the silence off, but he doesn't have the backup. Coil's there. Shotgun will save for a second as oh Polis and he got the nightmare and they've got the fiends grip. And with the spirit vessel on I have Scardy, the strength morphing just won't matter. He could waveform out, but Joe Cam's waiting on the other side, and no, they've got the silence. It's just so one-sided of a matchup right now between these two teams. Is that BB? He tries. Aeon just is going to save with a nightmare as well. They're just going to save the day. GXR, 11k net worth lead ahead. Hammer in either one. A bit of a chase down pod, no? And Shackle's not going to latch. Fiends Group's going to be committed. He just wants to try and go for this kill as Joe Cam does show up. Waiting out the BKB, which is about to wear off, but not quite yet. It's a nine second duration. It's the power shot is off the mark for Polison. He is still alive somehow. Ooh. Hung just can't finish the damn Bane. Ohio is going to show up as they found Alacrity. A massive target, but in your dream, he's around the area Ooh. with a nice thunder round. However, they lose Polison with the Winter's Curse. Do they want to keep up this fight? Alacrity with the coil out. They'll go after the Wyvern. Red Meanwhile, we'll try to run. That BB still alive with the cold embrace, but probably not for long as he does drop. And now Red, he's stuck in the tree line. He'll try to make a way out, but it looks like there is no way out. He's out of mana. He's just going to have to accept the fact that he's dead. And no meta's even been popped. Yeah. In your dream, the sickest save this game so far. That Sundry just keeping Alacrity up and running. And that's going to enable them to go high ground. DD still halfway through. Probably not going to get too much value of that with the meta. But 496, they're, they might have to commit some buybacks. Issue is, they don't have the curse up under Winter Wire. Oh, shackle. That's a great shackle. Bushwhack is there. But do they have the damage output? Well, the sharpshooter doesn't connect on in your dream. And you said there's no value, John. He's got about 800 damage right now on the TB for a split second. And you see that tier 3 tower? It just melted. Does not go back in now. Tier 3, just about a drop. Porkas, he'll morph into the TB, so we, he will have a meta available. They will manage to protect that tier 3 tower for now. See him get that added move speed and added attack speed. Going to help him the siege here. And that gives him more damage as well in melee form. So you have to be a bit cautious, Joe Cam. Oh no, not Porkas, not Ace, not again. Joe Cam, he's looking for that impel. Red's going to be around to help out, Ooh, but a double oh. impel does land as well. Reflection there, the BKB will do nothing. And that's what I was talking about earlier, John. It's either Lincoln's or your teammates get a Lotus, but BKB, it doesn't feel good. Not in this matchup. Now Hung needs to be careful because Alacrity is looking for that coil and he does get it. A BKB out from Hung is going to save his life. They do get a bushwhack as well on Mizu. But it's not going to lead to much. Yeah, and that's still a good time for GXR. You know, the Wind Ranger BKB is down for a minute. They can go for the high ground push. You are creep cutting here on red. So he's going to cut off one wave and maybe slow down the push. It's not going to be enough to stop it. There's still a creep wave coming in mid, and it's still the creep wave down bot as well, though. Focus fire on the Nyx Assassin. Aeon Disc is going to proc, but Joe Cam just walks out. You hit with the sharpshooter as well. In your dream, meanwhile, he's just going after the racks. He does not care whatsoever. It's bushwhack. It'll drag him back a bit. He's got the Aegis up. He's got the Satanic. He's feeling very confident. He's not even going to need to pop the Demon Zeal, John. Just... Straight up hits the racks, takes it down. He could go for the mid high ground if he wants as well. It, it's really up to GXR how confident they feel. With the 21k net worth lead, I'd say they should be feeling very confident. There you go, he pops the meta now. Double siege creep wave as well. It's going to be a very easy push unless we get a call in the backside. It's just not going to matter though because Hung's gone. Tips out from in your dream. 
as they're onto the mid-tier 3 tower. <laughs> Buyback committed by the Wind Ranger, but what can Hung do here? It, it seems to be very dependent on landing a big call or shackles. And even then, I, I highly doubt they, they even have the damage up. But as Red has been vesseled up, Joe Cam's just going to rush straight in. Goes for the Vendetta Strike, gets the Impale off, and they just blow him up. Dagon there. In your dream, he hasn't moved. He's just hitting the mid racks. Yeah. He has no reason to care. They take two racks for free. Axe, no buyback. 496. I mean, they've got the curse. Something big. I think it's really down to, uh, to that DB more than anything else. He has to find a way to reach that back line with his blink, get a good curse off, and kind of break up the fight for 496's side. They're fighting on the side. Lacrity forcing the uh, the Ghost Scepter out from our Morphling. Meanwhile, in your dream, he just keeps up onto that tier 3 top tower. They just want the Megas. That BB in position gets a decent enough curse off, but the Nightmare's there from Polis, and it's going to mean they get nothing. I think it might be about that time to call it. They might go for one more team fight, but it's not looking great as the Shackles is there from Hung. It's a big, big Shackles. They might find Joe Kemba, but no, in your dream, he saves the T again, and now the Fiend Grip is out. They found Hung on the Wind Ranger. He can't go anywhere. He'll get cold and braced up, but it won't matter because the Terror Blade, he just gets the work. Ace is in, but the GG's been called. They've had enough. A one-sided matchup for game number one between GXR and 496. And I've got to say, John, it wasn't even close. It was a tough time for 496. They started with the axe opener with a winter wyvern. They flex the axe onto the off lane. They take this mid wind ranger safely in morphling. And it, it just doesn't match up. GXR. And it's hard to go against that because we've seen this, this hero and it's just tried and tested. Right, like 496 with their Slark, it can be very good, but it is hard to keep up in terms of farm if you fall behind, and they almost find an attempt there onto Joe Cam, but they weren't in range for the gush there for Red. And now GXR, they might be able to force a team fight themselves. Red, he's going to show himself. It's not quite the target they want to get started on. They'd love a much squishier target. They aren't going to find one, so instead they'll go onto the tide. However, here comes a swarm. A 5v5 in the Radiant Triangle. But Paulson's one falling, or is it Red? It looks like it is going to be Red, and in your dream, he's the one to get the first blood. He may die in the process, or maybe not, as Ohio oh, oh. is going to give him a double what? kill now in the Luna. An absolute disaster for the side of 496. Porkus. As they keep going, Porkas, no. It'll be a Triple kill for in your dream. Enough. Get out of there. You've already given him one. Just get out. They tried to. They tried to trade, but they gave three kills to in your dream. Oh no. Not like this. You're getting great farm on Slark, but the Luna's still having great farm as well. And I think in that sense, the Luna's going to be a better hero. You just farm a lot faster. You have good spikes to play with early Eclipse if you look to play aggressive. A Slark looks for a Diffusal, maybe Echo Saber, down the line to really be active. And once that's up, you can run, you can be aggressive, but if you are playing that way, you have oh, to Red, get no. kills. Oh. No more. Not a dominating spree, Red. He's going to at least get Polison in your dream. Oh. He's going to find a fourth. <laughs> Three and a half minutes in. He's got over a kill per minute at the moment, this Luna. I, w I wish my pubs would do this, John. They, they sit there for 40 minutes farming the jungle. In your dream, he, he's getting active. <laughs> oh, yeah. And that's that's actually really good. They drop the support first, so In Your Dream gets the full solo EXP. I don't mind that trade-off. You're not getting much by killing off a support brewmaster at this point in the game yet. So the benefit for In Your Dream is a lot bigger in getting solo. He's level 4 now. Uh, 4 and a quarter in, so he's got basically a full level over red. If he hits 5 early, it's going to be even more painful in lane. With, I'm assuming, level 3 Lucent just going aggressive. And there's not much red can do. There's not much Ohio can do as well. Who are they going to get though? That's my problem. Like it just feels like in every sense they're just behind. Like Hung's level eight, which is amazing and all, but you're still going to run into a Kunka with with bowed up. He's just farming ancient stacks right now. Looks like they want Mizu, so they're going to try, but he has that ghost form again. The roll is there. Silence as well, but here come the TPs trying to help out Mizu. Remnants used up. How much is this going to cost them? Hung, he used all his mobility. Oh no. He's going to die for it. It's not worth... Pos 2 Ember dying for a Pos 3 Necro. That was a level 8 Ember as well for the sake of a level 7 Necrophos. It's just not worth they it. They have no Ravage. They do have mobility on the Ember, but Hung has to refill first. 
Now BB, he's going to be there to try and help out. He does not have the borrowed time, and instead they're going to go after Red anyway. They want the Tide Hunter. He's a tanky boy though, so instead they'll turn back on that BB. They realize he has no ulti, and now they have the Cyclone up onto Red as the boat flies in. Perfect timing, and it looks like they found another. And there was no rabbit. Oh no, hung. No, no, no. He oh, gets remnant it out, but it may not matter. He gets lifted as well, but he does get the remnant. So GXR, it's a two for nothing trade, mid tier one tower is going to drop, there's nothing 496 can do about it. Paulson, he's just so confident to run into the die triangle, he's got the split. <laughs> uh, that's it, he just splits, screw it. Uh, He'll turn on to Hung, Hung's got to be very careful as he does remnant away, but I can't say the same for that BB. Baron Time's going to be there. Meanwhile, to the south, Alacrity is holding everyone else back as that BB is still just trying to survive, but he's not getting out. Ohio, he lands a nice magnetize, but doesn't amount to anything. Oh. A massive ravage though, four heroes stunned up. They do get Polison, but Ohio's down now into <laughs> Jokam who's got the Baron Time. They can't even get the Rubik. Still a 2 for one trade thus far. A buyback on that BB is they're going to go after Mizu. He does have the Reaper Scythe up, but may just commit it. In fact, he doesn't need to. It's going to be a dieback on that BB. Joe Cam, he's going to spot out red for a second, but won't even bother. It just feels like there's no need to rush here if you are GXR. You can just play the slow game, just take over the map. And if they come into you, again, Reaper Scythe is up for Mizu. Yeah, and there's no Ravage now. That was a good Ravage from Red, but the damage issue you, men you mentioned comes into play there. And they, most of your damage is on Hung, and he has to be really cautious with where he TPs in. Oh, red, 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 not like that, sir. Lift up, Reapers is going to be there, and they're going to have the damage. There's a tip in your dream, he knows it. He, he's wondering what the hell he was doing. Oh, the Courier as well. Yeah. In the middle of the lane, all the gold. Meanwhile, mid lane, Mizu. Still very confidently pushing in this mid wave. So Lacrity now is going to get an X off. They won't be able to land the torrent though. A nice dodge from Hung and they might be able to go right back around onto that Necrophos now. That BB looking for the curse but there's the ghost form. And now the force stuff away from the rollers in your dream is going to show up with the X in on Ohio. But they'll commit all the way. Ravage up in 5 seconds. Red, he needs to buy a bit more time to get that Ravage off. In your dream he's popped his own BKB. He needs to back though. Or maybe he won't. He'll just keep going. Mizu moving forward but doesn't have the Reaper Scythe. And now they'll have the Ravage if they want to come in. They just me as Ohio, a big magnetize. Ooh. Now the three man ravage. They can turn this one. Joe Cam and Mizu already down. Aren't in your dream. He's got no BKB up. They should be able to take him down. They do. But can they get out of here now? Alacrity looking to clean up. Does kill off Hung. Mizu, he bought back. And he does almost have the Reaper Scythe up. But he's not quite close enough as now Alacrity. He's been jumped. They don't want to feed a dieback like this. Reaper Scythe is out, but poor Gas D8. He can just keep getting to oh. work. A big what? torrent. Is it going to be enough? What? Miz is just going to clean up. Ohio, he's had his roll blocked. He'll just keep up the chase. And he might just get this kill as the death falls. It'll just keep oh. chasing him down. Oh. And he gets a triple. Mizu gets him eventually. No, it at least helps him keep these waves shoved out. They've done a good job of cutting the mid. Uh, keeping the bot shoved in. They are looking up top though. This is where GXR is going to go for that push. No Ravage for half a minute. There's enough time for 496 to respond and stall this one out. I mean, they're pushing very fast though. Like, even at the, the 27 minute mark, in your dream, he does too much damage. He's got the Aegis up. He's almost got the Butterfly up. If he had the Butterfly, I don't think they could kill him. That BB is going to get torrented out. Rax is still going down. There's your backdoor protection now. But they already got the rain tracks. And they're not stopping. They're, they're sticking around. The creep has been killed. And now he's got the full butterfly up. So in your dream, he wants to fight. Huh? That BB? He's got the glimmer cape, but it's only going to be for so long. He tries to run with the aphotic shield, borrow time out, but they X him up. And he will come right back to the side of GX Harris in your dream. We'll give the voice lines over. <laughs> and guess what? They've got creeps now. Buyback is there, that BB, he's going to try and fight with his team, but it's already looking so tough. Red, he needs a massive Ravage, and he gets in. Ace is there. They committed the Ravage up from this Rubik, I believe. 
You've still got the Ravage from Red. He has not committed a quite yet as in your dream. He's still going for the fight onto Ace. And this is a very patient game from Red. But now he's been cycloned up. He can't get the Ravage. Lose some beam there. He's oh. going to have to try and run now. But it's just... They, they can't find the opening. It's, it's gonna be tough. At least they hold a Ravage for now, but the Aegis is still up and running for a minute and a half. BKB is still up as well for IYD. You have limited oh, angles. Oh, what a quick lift up as well, Red. Again, unable to get the Ravage off as the lift was there immediately. And now Ace, he goes to work with the Shadow Dance, but that's about to wear off. And it looks like this fight may have already kind of been lost here for 496. They're just struggling to get any form of damage. Oh. Big control there from Red, though. That might turn around as in your dream. Is dropping low and will lose the Aegis. But he does have his BKB charge. They'll try and go after Mizu. He gets the Ghost Form just in time. Still trying to heal up. Now the Eclipse is there in your dream. He'll try to fight by himself. He's kind of surrounded, though. Here comes Alacrity to try and help out as they've already found two. Buyback there from Mizu. He wants to rejoin the team fight. Alacrity now. Going for the X-Pack. Onto Hung Impact. Never mind. They'll go after Red instead. They want that tied down. Glimmer Cape not going to save the day. That BB trying to run. Can he though? Probably not. In fact, they'll just get in with Mizu. There shall be Shanker's buyback. Three down with our buyback. That is going to be at least two lanes of racks. Backdoor protection. It'll kick in for a few seconds, but the creeps are on the way. Yep. They, they, they might even just pressure the tier 4 yeah. since it's a Luna. It doesn't take too long. 496, even with a tide buyback available, there's no Ravage. It's not going to be enough to stop him. You need to find some way with Hung here. Uh, I, I don't know how you do it, John. Uh, the, the Ancient is going to go down a bit too fast, I think. Red, he's going to try and make his way over Hung. He'll remnant his way through in your dream. He can still take the Ancient while hitting heroes. The Glaives are just that strong. Red, oh, Reaper Scythe. Oh, they found Hung. Now Red, he's just a sitting duck. He's trying, but he cannot get out. And the GG will be caught. 496. Get 2 owed here by GXR. Who, I mean, I've got to tell you, John, they're looking very strong right now. I know we're only into our first series of the close qualifiers but they made both these games look extremely easy yeah they played